The all-new 98.9 Real Gold Radio. Jimmy Buffett, cheeseburger, yummy in paradise. Lots of ketchup, would you please? Candied crawdad tails. What's that? Candied crawdad tails. Oh, that was Granny Clappett. Do you recognize that voice? I sure do. Okay. <laughs> in the studio, we have Amo Russo. Uh, from the Harbor View Grill in the White Lake area, very popular, popular place. And you've been closed, uh, what, I think somewhere in December until today. You're going to reopen, right? That's right. We close uh, right before Christmas and then open up the second Thursday of March, which is today. Yeah, you're going to be busy, I bet. I hope so. You know, we uh, we got in there over the winter, went head to toe on the place. It's ready for the new season. Yeah. Uh, got some fresh paint here and there, some uh-huh. new flooring. and uh, Well, it's a wonderful view. You know, you see, what, the river valley and some marinas and all that from your restaurant? Sure. If you look to the north, you see the uh, white river uh, wetlands. Uh-huh. Every now and then you'll see an eagle or the sure. uh, the white swans out there, the blue herrings. Yeah. Um, and then to the uh, uh, west, you know, you have the, the east end of White Lake and, uh-huh. and the boats and whatnot. So it's, it's gorgeous. And you have, uh, when it warms up, you have outside dining available, too don't you? Yeah, we see it about 60 on the deck and so uh, mid-summer, it's nice to have a cocktail, something good to oh, eat I and know. enjoy the view. Yeah, Harbor View Grill, now they are kind of like a cook from scratch restaurant specializing in fresh and local ingredients whenever possible and they have partnered with uh, many of the local farmers that's right, local farmers and they're proud to present their uh, the fruits of their labor in an eye-appealing and pleasing manner. Like Bill Stibbets, he's growing uh, lots of herbs and squashes for you. Well, Bill grows mostly, uh, well, I put it this way, whatever he grows, we want to serve. There you go. And so he does some of the best in the area. Yeah. And uh, for everything from fresh herbs, summer squash, tomatoes, yeah. peppers, uh, you oh. name it, winter squash, you'll see a lot of that on our uh, Homestyle Sunday dinners and whatnot. So. I was over to his farm yesterday for a couple of hours. I was just going to stop in for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. But Bill and Pam Stibbets, you know, they, they're wonderful people and they like to talk. So I was there for a couple of hours. I know they're listening this morning. So good, good people. And they work very, very hard. Well, you know, when you go up to their stand, uh, they have uh, basically uh, an honor system. And so yep. it's very easy to get caught up with, well, geez, I'll have some of this, have some of that, have yep. some of this. And, and w- when you get at home, you're just amazed at not only the quality, but anytime you have a question, um, if you want something special, Bill's the guy to talk to because he'll go out of his way to get it for you. He sure will. Yeah. So what time do you open today? What, what time? Well, we open every day at 11, uh, today being 11, but uh, this year is a little bit different than last year where we open 1130 <laughs> on the weekends, but uh, we'll be open 11 o'clock every day throughout the week now. Okay. So you're open on Sundays as well? Yep. Yeah, Sunday. Uh, yeah. Everybody's got to eat, you know, why not? Well, Sunday's, uh, you know, a unique day for us. Uh, we offer our special of the day is called Homestyle Sunday. So Homestyle Sunday is that day where we get in early, bake ah. the bread, uh, make soup, yeah. um, you know, Who's, you name it. Who's Alice? <laughs> Alice makes the best chocolate cake oh, in the world. Oh, yeah. I mean, not necessarily in Michigan or the United States, but the world. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she orders right from the factory the Ghirardelli cocoa. Uh-huh. Uh, she gets it in. Uh, she makes kind of a chocolate ganache oh. type of frosting. <laughs> like she really doesn't tell me everything that's in it. She just mm. says, does this taste good? See, and, yeah, she won't divulge everything because she could be replaced then, see? So she's, you know, she's well, a smart she'll, woman. She'll make that frosting and put it in my mouth, and the only thing I can go is, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so Sundays you get in early to bake the bread, make the soup. Potatoes are put on the stove for mashed, and the meat is seasoned and roasted. Gravy is made from stock and then finished with the pan drippings. Oh, man. You know, there's nothing better than that, especially when you, we get all that stuff bubbling on the bottom of the pan. That's all the juices. I mean, yes. that's what makes the difference. And, oh, yeah. and if you get in and, and you try it, you'll know the difference. The people that know the difference appreciate it, and, and those that don't, well, that's just an added bonus for them. Right, right. Now, are you a chef, quote unquote? Uh, I am. Okay. Sure. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Have you had other restaurants, uh, any place? Or? Well, well, this is my first restaurant. I was a food service director at Grand Valley for six years before oh, the restaurant. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, been through the country club uh, circuit as a chef and uh, uh-huh. worked as a food and beverage director at a resort. And it was all preparing for this time now to where you got in and uh, you've at least experienced some of the highs and lows, the roller coaster, so to call, of the restaurant business. Oh, and, boy. Uh, for me, it was really uh, doing every job out there uh, to learn, mm-hmm. you know, and then 
try to get a little bit better at it now. Yeah. Now, do you get your eggs from Bill Stibbets as well? As much as possible. Yeah, those you know? beautiful brown eggs. I got a dozen yesterday, and oh, man, are they good. You know, there's just a huge difference between store-bought eggs and farm fresh brown eggs it's a big difference and oh. off the air a little while ago you were talking about duck eggs oh, my daughter is in love with his duck eggs if you get a chance to get one do it you is will not right? be sorry i'll is tell you right? one duck egg will make this i'm a, you'll swear you have a half dozen eggs in it it's so rich and delicious and you know a lot of times she'll put it even on an entree and break the yolk and just let it ooze over top of oh, it it's oh. <laughs> deliciousness here we go <laughs> i have a little note here. Uh, somebody on the internet wrote you, uh, the fish basket was so good we ate there two nights in a row. Four picky kids and three adults could agree that going back was a good idea. That's a review. Well, you know, the thing about it is, is you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Ah, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's either myself or my wife Alice, you know, usually we're the last people to touch the food. And then with our, our staff, you know, our staff uh, is stellar. And our wait staff, they're the last line of defense. Yes. And so, uh, you know, if, they, if it's not perfect, they don't take it out. And believe me, when they say, uh, give me the plate back and say, fix this, uh, you <laughs> have to respect them. You know, it's that moment of crisis. And, oh, geez, they got me. So make it perfect. Yeah. And so be, yeah. besides uh, myself, my wife, the staff really keeps us in check. And, and together, uh -huh. we're this unified group that uh, we, we feel impenetrable sometimes. Wow. This is very nice. And another review. The best restaurant in the White Lake area. An amazing view from the deck. A summer must visit. The meals are always good and the staff is pleasant. Need more beer selections, however, they said. Well, we don't have a lot. And uh -huh. that's one of the things that we really try to focus on is... Uh, it's better to do it well than to do it all. So, right. you know, we have a handful of Michigan beers, which, you know, you support your neighbors or they may not be there long, but uh, some Michigan wine. And then going back to that staff thing, it's the staff that makes us great. It's oh, the yeah. people around us. You know, we try to surround ourselves with great people and they in turn uh, feed off us. And it's just that reciprocating uh, energy that you get out there and try to do your best with. That's right. You know, it's like uh, the Fetch Brewery. I go in there once in a while, and the staff is so friendly, and they're laughing, and, you know, that really makes the whole thing. Well, I love those guys. You know, right when they first opened, they brought us over some spent barley, and can you do stuff with this? And, uh -huh. and I actually look forward to this season with uh, working with them and different beers and uh, making different... Uh, we made oxtail soup out of their dark beer, and it was just delicious. You know, put some of that spent barley in there and made some different cheese dips, and I tell you what, you really get surprised when you just get this idea in your head and somebody kind of adds a little bit here, adds a little bit there, and you end up with something just completely different. But it's, you know, how do you do this? You almost uh, want to have to write it down. They all want the recipes, don't they? Well, right. And then a lot of times it's just reaction, cause and effect and taste. And, yeah. and you have to remember, what did I do? Can I redo this? Oh, yeah, right. Maybe you do it, redo it, and it's even better. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So another review. So the fish was great. The sides, like coleslaw fries, sweet potato fries, onion rings, were a, were a few of the offerings that they tried. And they all said it was very good. The homemade chocolate cake, oh boy, was a favorite of two of the kids. That's a review, you know. So. Well, you know, chocolate cake. Yeah, that chocolate cake, <clears throat> it, it just sets you off. A lot of people will actually take something to go home with, you I know, bet. just to enjoy later. Sure. Yeah, and then going back to that fish, you know, once yeah. again, you start with something good, you end with something good. So yeah. Alaskan cod, and I like Alaskan cod better than I do Atlantic. Is that um, right? Bigger flavor. It's caught in the Barren Sea. Uh, we clean it. Uh, well, a lot of people don't take the time to finish their cod when it comes in. But I'll tell you what, if you come in and you try it, you'll notice the difference, I promise you. Why don't they finish it? Well, they just, everything else combined? Is that what? Well, you know, when it comes in, it's skinned and whatnot, but there's always that little uh -huh. bit of silver skin on the back and, uh -huh. and just the little things that can make a big difference. Yeah. If you take the time to do it, someone yeah. will notice. Well, that adds flavor, doesn't it? Oh, sure does. Sure. Big time. Big sure. time. And the steaks? Yeah, oh, well, that's another story. You know, the steaks is with the cattle industry now and the beef market just going crazy. You know, yeah. the, the farmers and the cattlemen are growing mm -hmm. bigger beef. Uh, they're trying to get heavier weight to the market, which mm -hmm. presents us as a challenge because we like to buy small beef uh, to cut ourselves. We cut all our own. So yeah. we were actually buying bone-in beef this year and boning it all ourselves just to get the size and the quality 
Mm-hmm. Uh, do, you, do you age them at all? Or? Well, we get it in at 28 days. <clears throat> and then I like to cut between 40 and 45 days. Okay. And so, you know, once it uh, ages, it tenderizes it, it increases the flavor. And, uh, you know, our ribeye steak, you can just about cut with a fork. Is there? Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. Mm-hmm. Bill Stibbets was talking about that yesterday. He brought somebody in from... I don't know, some far-off country, and they've, they've been eating all over the world at different places over the years, and they said that uh, yours was the very best they've ever had. Now, that's quite a compliment. Well, you know, that, that is a compliment, but, you know, as we take a look at it, that was yesterday, so today's a new challenge. Yeah. Every day, you can't never take that chance on, uh, you know, not making that first impression really, really good. Okay. We're going to take a little break. Can you stick around for a while? Sure. Okay. We're talking with uh, Amo Russo from the Harborview Grill of the White Lake area talking about their, uh, well, their opening, which is today. They've been closed for a couple of months, you know. On va- Did you go on vacation? We, we went to uh, Florida for a few days. We yeah. went and saw my uh, son in Texas. He's in the military, so... Oh. Uh, yeah, we spent a few days down there, and uh, then you came back, kind of spruced the place up a little, a little paint or something, uh, clean it all up uh, really good. So that's you know, it's good to do that while it's totally closed. Well, but yeah, yeah, you get to all the little things that uh, you may not notice, and until you yeah. walk away and walk back in and say, "Why didn't I get to that?" And so that's what that off season is about: is getting yeah. it ready for the season, head to toe, and don't miss a, a nook or a cranny. You get a lot of tourists. We'll we'll talk about that in a moment, but hang on, don't go away. Oh, Unside Warp, underwriting sponsor of Real Gold Radio. Oh, I think everybody loves a good local hardware store. You know what I mean? I sure do. You know, we, uh, especially getting ready for the season, we're over there uh, several times a day. And, sure. Uh, I tell you what, yeah. personalized service. I know. You just, uh, you know, they'll walk you to what you need, get you out there. Yeah. Uh, definitely a first-class operation. So we're back on the air with uh, Emil Russo from the Harborview Grill in the Wide Lake area. And, boy, I, I, I hope you have a good uh, spring and summer and fall. I bet you will. You get a lot of tourists in, don't you, from uh, all the, the boats, the yachts that come in. and Yeah. Well. You know, the way our season works is, you know, we'll get uh, rolling with the locals right now. Uh-huh. And that's where we make a lot of our menus. We get a lot of feedback. What do you like? What don't you like? Sure. And, uh, you know, as we change menus, uh, which we do quite often... Most of that just comes from the floor. I get out there, try to meet people, listen to them, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I uh, was, I, I went to your website, and, you know, a lot of people were talking about the restaurant, and I didn't see anything negative. You know, they they all give reviews. Yeah. So you've got something pretty good going here, kiddo. <laughs> Let's talk about the catch of the day. What's all that about? Well, Cook the Catch, we started uh, years ago in 2008. Uh, We work a lot with the local charter boats, and uh, Uh when people go out and take a charter, they'll catch uh, either from the inland lakes with uh, Captain Ken with the uh, Uh walleye and and, uh, bass, whatnot, they're catching in the lakes, Um, or um, with Dan Scheid in the getaway, you know, they'll catch the salmon, uh, brown trout in the spring, Uh um, you know, steelhead, I know Isaac goes up the river for uh, steelhead charters and whatnot, so they'll take clients out, bring it in, and we do basically a three-course meal with it. So really, they bring it to you and and you clean it all up and prepare it and serve it. That's right. That's oh, right. Wow. You know, so you know, it just adds to the experience of the area. You yeah. know, when people leave the area, you know, we'll, we're going to try to do our part just to give them that pleasurable experience, uh-huh. um, give them something to think about and something to talk about when they leave. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Mitch Johnson from Johnson's Great Outdoors. You I love, love Mitch. Mitch. Oh, yeah, sure he's do. a hard worker, and he uh, calls in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a fishing report that we have on thirty-five past the hour. And he told me the other day to stop around to his to his store, and I did, and he had some fresh walleye for me. Oh, oh. man. And I cook things in I cook things in coconut oil. What do you think about that? Coconut oil is uh, awesome. Huge, huge. And you you've seen a lot more of the coconut water and the health benefits of right. it. And you know, the thing about the coconut is <clears throat> you still have to be conscious of the saturation level. Oh. And so uh, however, uh, it's full of uh, great amino, a- amino right. acids and right. whatnot, uh, heart healthy for you. So yeah. uh, you'll see different skin rubs. The whole coconut craze is just going out of control right now. I know. Now. I actually lose weight when I, you know, I cook up my potatoes every morning at 4 o'clock and, and onions and a couple of eggs, brown eggs, and I use coconut oil, and it's just tremendous stuff. Yeah, my dad fries chicken and whatnot in coconut oil, uh, you know, and fish. Okay. You know, so. All right. What else were we going to talk about? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Off the air, we were going down this list. But we talked about the fresh catch 
And uh, let me see. Oh, yes, the vegetarian and gluten-free options that you have. Well, you know, a lot of our menu, about 35% of our menu is vegetarian. And then it has meat options. You know, our, uh, we want to uh, best on the lake shore with our roasted corn and black bean cakes. Mm. And we serve that over roasted pepper sauce with cilantro, sour cream. And uh. then you have your option. You can add Cajun chicken to it or garlic seared shrimp. Mm -hmm. um, with the gluten-free aspect, you know, uh, R.W. Baker down in Muskegon, one of the five certified gluten-free bakeries in the country. So they export a lot outside of the state to, to different states and mm -hmm. to this region of the country anyway. Wow. And uh, what we're serving from them right now is their gluten-free flatbread because it's such yeah. a universal tool yeah. um, for us that you can just about put anything on it's going to be great is that right and the thing about this gluten free uh they're kind of getting away from the flax a little bit going more with the tapioca and almond flowers so you get a little bit more of that background fl uh flavor so that empty sawdust you know flavor you get from a lot of that gluten free stuff okay another quick review very nice quote unquote fish and chips were very good also enjoyed the jambalaya and the baked bean the black bean cakes very glad that they chose visiting your restaurant quote unquote <laughs> You know, oh, that's black uh, bean cakes. Yeah. That sounds good. Well, you know, there are black bean cakes actually can be considered almost a superfood because you have roasted red peppers. Yeah. Uh, number one, roasted red pepper has three times the amount of vitamin C than an orange does, for uh, example. Yes. You know, your black beans, Michigan black <clears throat> beans grown over here in the thumb. Mm -hmm. You know, huge protein, great fiber. Uh, fresh cilantro, caramelized and, onions. And it gives, you, it gives you energy right away, doesn't it? Oh, well, it gives you energy, and it lasts a long time. So you have this meal, you're not going to be hungry for a while because that flavor sticks with you. Yeah. And it's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, this is great. Uh, we're talking about the Harbor View Grill of the White Lake area. Man, you're, you're opening back up today after you've been closed for a couple of months, and... Uh, the best of luck to you. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, well, I just want to like to uh, thank a lot of the people we work with. You know, Mac Meats out of uh, Rothbury. You know, we get some of their, uh, they have a name for it, but their Italian sausage is phenomenal. It's just the only way to say it. You have to get it. You have to try it. You know, we get oxtails from them and whatnot. And we'll be working a little bit more with them on, on some local beef. You know, Bishop Farms and Plantarella, I know she's over there getting ready for the season. She decorates and uh, does our deck in different yeah. flower pots. And, yeah. and of course, my buddy, uh, Bill Stibitz. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, good old place. Bill. Yep, two, three times a week delivering. And, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, tomorrow is a special day because our artists will be in uh, doing our chalkboard. You know, we do local scenes on our chalkboard every week. So Patrick Riley out of Muskego will be up. And, um, you know, if you have, uh, we do some stuff on Facebook every now and then looking for uh -huh. suggestions and, uh, so he'll be there uh, doing the chalkboard in front of people. So if you come in and have lunch, you can watch it being drawn as you go. And, and I'm always amazed at the finished product. I was there back in December. I can't remember. Do you have a, like a salad bar, too, and all that? Or? No, no. No, it's just, all made uh, by uh, the people in, in the kitchen, right? That's right. You that's order right. it, and they bring it out, and that's the way to do it, really. Because, you know, you have a salad bar, and it sits there, it sits there. It sits, you know, that's not good. Yeah, we just had our employee meeting about, you know, even simple things about getting the food to the table when it gets on the plate. You yes. know, those little things that can make a big difference, especially right. for those that appreciate it. Right, right. And another review... Uh, they said, uh, I went there with my family for lunch today, a party of 11. Everything was excellent. We had the corn and bean patties, jambalaya, barbecue chicken, flatbread, large portions, lots of variety on the menu, including lots of vegetarian options. And we sat outside on the north side of the building. Great view, quote, unquote. So, this is wonderful. Yeah, we'd like to say that, uh, you know, we have some of the best that White Lake has to offer. You know, it's that little piece of small-town America you just don't get yeah, everywhere. Yeah, now you're on um, 115 North Mears Avenue. So if I'm new to the area, how do I get there? You go downtown Whitehall. Right. The only light in White downtown Whitehall and take a right. right. You'll run into us, and uh -huh. we're right behind Bell's Furniture. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Bell's Furniture. Everybody knows about Bell's Furniture. I think we've covered everything, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Except one question. <laughs> what is your favorite dish? Uh, you know, yeah. I, I, when people ask me, you know, what would you order? I always tell them, get one of everything. That way you don't have to make up your mind. But for me, um, you know, I'm a big fan of the jambalaya. Yeah. And uh, number one, super healthy for you. There's not a lot of fat in it. 
Um, and so you can have it vegetarian, you can have it with shrimp, you can have it with shrimp and chicken. Mm. There's just so many things you can do with it, but just a little yeah. bit of spice, you know, that, that spark that don't burn you, you know, uh, keeps you interested, but uh, right, you right. Know, don't keep you running for the water. So Now you, uh, have, you have beers and wine. Do you, have, uh, do you serve liquor as well? We, we have a limited amount of liquor. We, okay. we do, but we don't have a huge bar. You know, we don't right. do the daiquiris. Uh, right. You know, we're more of a place where you can have a, a great meal and a, Bring and a good Bring your family drink. in. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, okay. And, well, every once in a while, you get a visit from the health department. They sure are, uh, well, they're much needed, you know. They really are. They do a great job, and they keep everybody in line. You ever get any bad reviews from the health department? No. I, I well, bet. yeah. I, we're going to keep our fingers crossed because I never sure. want to cr- cross know. that bridge. But, you know, right. I guess one of the things for us is when the, uh, the health inspector's out in your dining room eating and you go out and chat with them, uh-huh. that's kind of a testament to where if they're willing to eat uh, at your place. And, you know, one of the things that we have uh, because of them is we have that open door policy. So when people come in, if I can't get out to see them, they'll come into the kitchen and, you know, we kind of pride ourselves on having a, a very clean and organized uh, workspace. Uh, right, just right. so if somebody does come back, I want them to see what we do, how we do it, and in the environment we do it in. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, you got a great place, and uh, you do you do it up right, I can tell. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Okay. So I think that uh, covers everything, and you're, uh, well, you're going back to the restaurant right now, and I bet you're going to be busy all day long. Yeah, I know Alice is over there. She has the stock on for the soup. I'll finish it yeah. when I get in. And, Who's uh, Alice? Alice is my wife. Oh, and, uh, oh. The best. Is she really the boss, you know? Well, I tell you what, when the women are happy, we're all happy. So yeah. I guess the answer is yes. There you go. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you, Emil. Emil Russo from the Harborview Grill of White Lake area. And it's been a real pleasure talking with you. You know, serving food to the public, that's, uh, and doing it right is really quite an art, and you do it well. Thank you for having us. Okay, no problem. I'm Oscar Osbo. I've been playing music at wedding receptions and special events for years. Let's have fun at the next one. 231-288-3580. 288-3580. For the fun of it, 24-7 at the new 98.9 Real Gold Radio.